We're shooting this video um, as for Electronics and for Torque Lock Structural Systems. As many know, I own both companies. And most of the time when you're doing leak detections, they have total correlation to structural repairs. And we're going to show you, for, for instance, in this particular video. So this was a leak detection that we had done, gone out. Um, this pool was worked on a year before. So some contractor came in, they did some staples. We're going to get into the specifics of that. But they stapled this pool and they just plastered it. We found 106 linear feet of structural crack. We found uh, a lot of the crack when we just were using our pool scopes and pipe mics, putting them in the pool and doing the leak detection. But we're taking you through this whole entire job. This is about waterproofing. Um, this is about repairing an excessive amount of structural crack in a residential swimming pool. So again, here's what the pool looked like uh, when we did the leak detection. Then the lady called up the existing contractor. He came out and he put these tape marks in the pool. You'll see these blue tape marks. That's the actual customer standing in the pool. Um, and those were some of the cracks that he found. But again, they didn't properly map and mist this pool so it wasn't misted out. They didn't mark it out. We came in and did that. See how we did it with spray paint. And what we did was we found the actual linear footage. Again, this pool had to be chipped down to the original gunite. And one we know, thing we noticed when we chipped it down was of the staple methods that they used. And what they did was they beat rebar into the wall. Take a look at where we have this failure right here. You can see the actual structural cracks. You can see the, the, the rusted rebar that's in there. That is not the way to repair a structural crack. The right way to do it is with a torque lock staple, a compression staple, where you can set it in and you can control the amount of compression. Again, so this is what it looked like again after we marked it out, and here's what it looks like as we go through the process of chipping and cutting to do everything we need to do to properly set back our torque lock staples. So in this, again, in this specific job, we did 100, and I think it came out to 106 to 110 linear feet um, it's $250 a foot. Do the math and see what we actually charged. We also charged them to come in and do this pool with a um, membrane C. It's a waterproofing membrane. Normally we just do the areas of repair. Customer requested and I worked with the plasterer on this that we come in and we uh, waterproof the entire structure of the pool. Again, this plaster wasn't on us. The company was gonna come in after us that we had the customer deal direct with. So again, this is just a little bit of how A, a pool should not be repaired by banging horseshoes or rebar into a wall, how to do it properly with the torque lock method. We're able to stand behind our work and we'll hopefully be able to make another customer happy. For more information, visit Leetronics.com and always check out our YouTube channel.